What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you another brand new video and okay one thing I want to get out if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe and hit that like button if you guys like the video. What we're going to be talking about today is some highlight attacks that came from the Fortune Steel versus Immortal Thieves War. Again, this was a random matchup. If you guys so happened to miss the last video that I uploaded, a fresh 10v10 using five lightning spells. Uh, if you guys missed that, I will have a link to that uh, at the very end of the video, a little shortcut to that thumbnail. So make sure you guys check that out if you've missed it. So I won't be showing you guys that replay since I made an entire video on it uh, in this video, but I will be showing you guys other highlighted attacks, including, which we'll do at the very end, I got a 10 v 11 uh, two star, a 60%, so stay tuned to the end. I will be showing you guys that video. You guys know me enough by now. Uh, I always start with a little bit of Town Hall 9 action before we get into the heavy hitter action. Thank you, BRG. This guy's always on donating. Uh, we have this sick, this sick ass attack uh, from NECA. Pretty much doing a TDH, a little bit different. Uh, usually when you see TDH, uh, which came from TDH from War Whales, uh, what, what I've usually seen is anywhere from 15 to 16, 18 minions, 20 minions. NECA is bringing 30 minions to this attack. And again, what makes this attack even that much more special, uh, he is bringing the four quakes. Uh, you know, the spells, the spells can vary. He, he went ahead and uh, brought the four earthquake spells and is just using rages. What makes this more special is that it was a fresh hit. Uh, this was their top town hall. Not that it really matters as far as defenses, but there is, this is the top town hall nine on the war map. So we have 39 taking on number 22. And as you guys see, he quaked right into this core. So got amazing value from those four earthquake spells. King pretty much trimmed all the trash at the whole lower section of the base. So you can clearly see where this queen is going to be heading. Uh, she's going to be heading straight into this core where she's going to be picking up a couple air defenses. Uh, he also has one camp hound and a hound that's going to be coming out of the CC and does have nine balloons as well. So got amazing value from his king, just saying a perfect funnel right there. Uh, Wizard gets that archer tower down just in time. Uh, queen, definitely a ballsy move. Queen engaged a baby dragon witch CC uh, without any poisons. So luckily that baby dragon got out in front. Uh, he didn't get tied up on the skellies. He did have that rage to help him out. Here comes the CC Lava Hound, uh, just dropping uh, just about three to four loons per each of these defenses, trying to get that uh, air defense down before he drops down his Camp Hound. And there it goes, meeting up with the CC Hound. And look at all the minions, guys. 30 minions uh, are behind all these balloons. And notice where he drops his Hounds in the balloons, they soak up any of the air traps, one red bomb would wipe out all those minions. But if you do the attack right, uh, the, all the air traps are going to take, are, are going to be targeting the hounds and or the loons and keeping those minions alive. And look at, they're just pretty much one shotting this town hall with all those minions up. And you can clearly see that this base is going to be wrecked. Uh, very, very nice attack from NECA. He has been red hot lately. Definitely keep up the work. Ended up completely smashing that base and doing it fresh uh, with a TDH. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and get in to some of our 10v10 action. One thing I want to say is when you guys check out Heli K, this is Heli Case on his lighter, uh, his tier two Town Hall 10, taking on Scatoria. Shout out to Scatoria, taking on their tier two Town Hall 10. One thing you guys are going to see. Heli Case's hogs literally last forever. When I saw this raid, I. I, I seriously thought it was going to be ripped. I thought he was done, but you guys are gonna see his hogs just keep going. I don't know how he does it. Uh, starting off with this really heavy kill squad, doing it stone. He's one of the very few people that I see not only do this attack, but do this attack with a lot of success, uh, bringing three golems, uh, jump and a rage. We do have uh, uh, enemy 
Loon and Gollum coming out of the CC, set up a very nice funnel for all of his bowlers, and with no hesitation, he just sends in all these hogs. Doesn't even have a freeze spell for that back end Inferno. Just has two heals, one rage, and a skeleton spell. Uh, you can definitely see the defense path, the funnel that his kill squad carved out, completely carving out the entire core. And here comes his hogs, ends up raging his hogs into the inferno tower, and then he heals them on the backside. But look at what the hogs still have to get through. They still have to get through quite a few point defenses and wizard towers as well. And you can see his hogs are kind of thinning out uh he did bring 15 uh plus he brought hogs in the cc but you can see they just beat through but i'm gonna tell you now if i did this attack with those hogs they would have all died all those cans would have still been up uh pretty much swag that uh skelly spell on these cannons and he's still gonna end with about three was that three hogs left three or four hogs left and nothing but cleanup and you can see he still has a couple golemites still has his queen up and a bowler as well uh, like i said this guy gets these hog raids off and ends up smashing the bases huge shout out uh, to heli k smashing that on dlo 28 uh his tier two town hall 10 very very uh, nice attack again the end of the video this was the attack using the five zaps make sure you guys check that out shout out to gooves uh one thing i didn't mention in the first video so he that that 10v10 using five zaps that was done fresh this attack on number 19 was also done fresh uh, by Goose. Gonna be doing an epic queen charge Lalo, and you're gonna see him get amazing value from this queen, uh, from this queen charge, bringing eight wall breakers, guys. Just use one wizard uh, to set the funnel for his queen to make sure that she goes the right way. Already gonna be taking down one air defense, and you're gonna see he wants to break into this core where he's gonna get a couple expos, get rid of the enemy CC, take out the enemy queen, and just get amazing value before he starts the flight portion. There goes king down at the bottom, just doing a little uh, kiwi walk, uh, again, to make sure that queen goes into the core where he wants her to. And you see he's got a couple wizards down there with the king as he's taking out all that trash. And here comes the wall breakers. Ends up having a wall breaker fail. They did damage the wall. So he goes ahead and drops one wall breaker under rage. So very, very nice recovery. Uh, if he missed that, queen would have walked around the base. And this attack would have definitely been ripped. Uh, nice poison on enemy queen to slow her down. So he gets to save a rage right there. Queen on queen action. His queen is going to win. Notice he's already taken out an expo and a couple other air targeting defenses. Uh, he's only being targeted by a wizard tower right now. So he's going to have plenty of time to take out that hound. The same poison... Uh, or no, he actually dropped down the max poison, used his camp poison to take out the, or to help slow down the queen, and use his max poison to, to slow down the loon and take out the pups as well. So got good value, uh, from both of those dark spells. Here comes the Lalo portion starting at four o'clock, sending his, uh, CC hound completely across the base and with about eight or nine loons hasting them into that inferno tower followed up by a camp hound coming in at about 2 30 followed up by a few more loons also bringing some loons just to keep those loons inside the core of this base where the expo is where that little mini uh, tesla farm is the wizard tower brings in those loons from the top side of the base to take out those defenses on the outer edges and notice his queen is still up, still has ability as well. She's locked onto the CC, and he still has a few loons left, but still has that air defense. We'll go ahead and times two this. Uh, he does have how, uh, hounds. He does have pups and minions clearing all the trash up at the top of the base. All loons are down. Queen beating on the wall, going to end up getting uh, the last defense, which is going to be the air defense. Uh, absolutely insane attack. Gooves with a fresh with a fresh uh, six pack, 10v10 six pack. Again, huge shout out to Gooves on that attack. Uh, next one is, no, that was a dip. Is this one, actually, no, no, no. Is it number 11? Yes, number 11. This is Turbo, AKA Taz. Uh, gonna be hitting this base, also gonna be doing uh, a queen charge Lalo. Very, very strong attack, especially on a lot of these bases with the air defenses on uh, these offset ADs, as you can clearly see. 
all four of these air defenses are on the other side of the base. So you can usually get a pretty good queen charge on a lot of these bases. Of course, if you plan right, definitely a very advanced attack. Uh, not, not something you're gonna be doing uh, for a beginner. But Taz is going to end up completely wrecking this base. Uh, is bringing a few wall breakers. Already got the first compartment broken, uh, leading to that first air defense. Uh, did get a few shots off of his healers, but gets uh, that air defense down just in time. And this was a cleanup. Notice he sent a couple loons in to soak up those seeking air mines. Uh, so very, very good value from those loons. Again, you'd rather have a, something like a balloon absorb a seeking air mine rather than one of your healers so very very good execution on that right there uh, already has a double air wall break under that same rage uh, drops down a couple more wall breakers gets that wall popped and he's going to open up the entire core two air defenses already down enemy queen is down queen taking quite a bit of damage goes ahead and drops down another rage so he's all out of rages but still has four max haste to use on the flight portion of this attack uh, healers getting pushed back and ends up popping the ability just in time. Uh, clearly brings the Archer Queen's health back up to full. So got that ability down just in time. Again, starting as Lolo, also with the maxed uh, Hound coming out of the CC, followed up by a whole wad of loons from three uh, down to about four o'clock. Notice all four hastes bring them in, and he has a, a couple hastes leading all the balloons into the core. And those hounds, those two hounds, end up going literally across from one side of the base to the other. And Queen is still going, ends up going to be taking out that expo. Uh, balloons collapse on that inferno tower, and very similar uh, to Goob's attack, it's going to end with nothing but the Queen, pups, and minions left. Uh, so very, very uh, clutch attack uh, by Turbo, a.k.a. Taz, getting the 10v10. Uh, he's usually been doing uh, 10v11s, but since our 10v11 squad was so successful this war, that opened up quite a few 10v10 opportunities, and Taz took advantage of that and taking out their number 11. Absolutely huge. So that was a look at their 10v10s. I do want to show you guys. I ha I'm sorry, guys. I rarely get the chance or you know the opportunity to do a 10 v 11, so I have to show you guys uh, this attack on this base right here. Going to be ending in a minute and 30 seconds. Uh, a little different than your normal attack. Uh, this was uh, this was a cleanup hit, uh, but bringing five uh, five earthquakes, uh, one to soften up the core, four on the entry. And you guys are gonna see right here a couple archers just getting some free percentage, dropping down one golem and five bowlers with a wizard over at three o'clock. Same thing up at 12, a golem, uh, five bowlers, and another wizard. And since it was a hound loon CC, uh, we're gonna go ahead and suey the queen to get it amazing value on that upper left hand side. Down go goes the quakes. Here comes the max level. I'm telling you guys, this max level golem, this level seven golem is so freaking strong. You can pretty much bring one instead of two is what it seems like. A whole wad of bowlers coming in with the king as well. Wall breakers down, a rage leading everything in, followed up by a heal uh, before they approach the core and just a beautiful funnel set. Uh, and we drop a rage in the core. We're already at, uh, we already grabbed the first star. There goes the town hall at 56% and we still have, uh, we had three baby dragons. One of them did eat a seeking air mine. Uh, so we had two more that we dropped down to get a few more percentage. And the last building to go down is going to be that Tesla. Uh, so ended up 60%, very, very solid attack uh, by me. So I definitely wanted to get that out to you guys, getting a 60% and taking advantage of that maxed golem coming out of the clan castle so very very nice so i have one more attack to show you guys we have some i don't even know which one do i want to show? okay i think i'm gonna show you guys the 59 percent psalm has just been wrecking in uh the 10 v he is pretty much leading the charge in the 10 v 11 squad uh just coming up with epic plans and uh here's another one on this very tricky base uh these style of bases that we have been seeing uh you know trying to defend uh things like dragons with the way the air defenses are 
Let's go ahead and drop down a loon. Got a seeking air mine. Baby dragon setting the funnel over here at three o'clock. He is bringing three golems and he does have seven bowlers just doing a straight up bowler smash. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, he does have bowlers that are gonna be coming out of the CC. Uh, so starting over here at three o'clock and be raging this funnel right here, this uh, golem bowler kill squad. Here comes the hound loon uh, and I definitely want to show you guys how to do this. It is something that we are seeing more and more. Uh, so definitely take note of how to take out um, a pesky lava hound when you want to send your queen with the kill squad. Uh, so clearly his uh, his that bowler or that golem bowler bow, bleh, that golem bowler kill squad pulled the CC. Notice he has a poison and a baby dragon down here in the camps. Uh, just dropping one barbarian just to kind of lure he want he's what he's trying to do here is lure the hound and loon off to the side of the map so the baby dragon is out of range of any air targeting defense he's getting it way over here at three o'clock knows how he's going to drop down this baby dragon it's going to take out the loon first now it's going to go ahead and beat on the hound well times this as it does take it does take some time right before it pops or as it pops he goes ahead and drops down a poison and that baby dragon is going to take out all those pups. So now, because usually what happens is when you send your queen with a kill squad, all your queen ends up doing is locking onto the hound and dying. Uh, so now he can send his queen with his kill squad and get that much more value. And notice that baby dragon is still up, even end up taking out a building. Okay, so here comes the main push into the core of this base at 12 and over at about 2.30. Uh, gonna be, he did wall break jumping into the base and now his queen can reach the town hall from over the wall uh if you try to do this attack without getting rid of that hound again your queen's just going to lock on it and she's going to die so now you're going to see that his uh queen is going to clearly snipe this town hall and get decent percentage and still get a solid 59 percent. there she goes she's actually under rage uh so takes that uh less fewer shots to get the town hall down and still has ability so look at his queen go. She is just doing absolute work right now. Uh, she, he's going to go ahead and pop her ability, get a couple more buildings down, and ends up ending on time. So he probably would have gotten one, if not two more buildings, uh, but ended up ending on time. That was uh, three minutes, but very, very solid and a good way how to take out that lava hound when you want to send your queen with the kill squad. That is going to do it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tax. I had uh, uh, Town Hall 9 to show you guys. Had a few Town Hall 10s using a couple different uh, different armies and a few 10v11s. Got to give our 10v11 guys some love. I even was able to take uh, a town, or two star Town Hall 11. And of course, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.